three, two, one. Yo, what's up, buddy, guys? It's Paul Wolfie here. We are back. Now, the first thing you want to do on this video, as always, is hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also hit that bell so you do get a notification every time I do drop a brand new video. And last but not least, of course, my Twitch channel is down in the description below, www.twitch.tv forward slash Connor Wolf. If you want to go drop that a follow, guys, I will love you forever. All of my road to glory is streamed on there, you know, all of that good stuff. A lot of the stuff that you guys see on YouTube is just cut up and edited and then obviously put into YouTube form from my Twitch channel. So if you guys do want to go and see it live, please, please, please make sure you go and drop that follow. I will love you guys forever. So I'm going to turn back to the blue, man. I think I prefer the blue. A little bit dark, you know, make it a little bit more mysterious. But... And of course, last but not least, my Twitter is also down in the description below, www.twitter.com forward slash ConnorWolf1995. If you want to go drop that follow so you guys can keep updated with a lot of my private life, a lot of the YouTube videos, a day in advance, etc. Also see how I'm doing on my Road to Glory account and all of that good stuff. Make sure you go and drop that follow, guys. You'll also see a little bit of personality about me, you know, so there you go. But without any further ado, intro done, finito. Let's get straight into the video. So today's video is... How to improve your mentality on FIFA? It's a very tough question because I know a lot of people are asking, how can you improve your mentality, etc. There's no real gameplay clips in this. It's kind of just me talking to you guys. I'll then, of course, go into a game and just play it while I'm talking. I think the big thing that you guys need to understand is improving your mentality in FIFA comes from you, okay? I can tell you these tips and stuff that I do, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, you've got to want to improve your mentality of FIFA. You've got to want to change. You've got to want to improve of FIFA. You've got to want to do all of these things. And if you can finally then do all these things, then I promise you, you will improve your mentality on FIFA. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So tip number one, and my biggest advice for you guys, okay, is try not to look at your record. Okay, so for example, if we go into a foot champs, I've had one of the worst weekend leagues. I think... I think this is up there with the worst weekend leagues I've ever had. Okay, so we just ignore my record. My record is 15 and 4. That is absolutely doo-doo, okay? But to you guys that are really trying to sweat out and get into them higher ranks, okay? So whether you're trying to get into the... I don't know. I'd say the average player is probably around about silver, one, gold, three. In terms of the weekend league, I'd say your average weekend league player... Is silver one gold three in my opinion i could be massively wrong of course i could be wrong beyond belief but that is what i think the average player is so you guys would want to aim for around about 14 wins okay right the biggest problem people have is they focus too much on the record okay so for example if you are say you desperately want that gold three finish and you know that you're 13 with the game left Try not to think that you're 13 with a game left. Try and think that this is just my last game of the weekend league and I'm just going to enjoy it and have some fun, okay? Because the moment you start getting caught up looking at your records, etc., that is when it really falls down here. A lot of people do put just too much pressure on themselves, in my opinion. They really try and focus on, oh, look, I need... I need to go 5-2 and two for my last 7 games to try and get into goal 1, etc. Don't even think about it. I promise you guys, do not even think about these type of things, okay? The moment you start thinking about these things is when it all just falls downhill. You don't want that. You don't want to fall downhill, okay? You want to you aim as high up as you possibly can get, but at the same time without trying to focus too much on the record. When you start focusing too much on the record, you start putting pressure on yourself, Pressure, a lot of people can't deal with pressure well, so they just fold under it, okay? So try not to focus on the record too much, okay? Now, it, tip number two, this is a real big tip. It's something that a lot of you guys, if you have watched my streams or my YouTube videos, you will know that I'm a big advocate for. I'm going to change to the red, by the way. I haven't really done the red before. Let me know. Let me know. Do you guys like, do you guys like the red or not? A big thing that I think you guys, we guys need to focus on is when the game goes against you, which is a lot of the time, of course... A lot of the time when the game goes against you, try honestly just not to care, okay? When you're when you're really getting angry with the game, you're getting aggy, things are going against you, etc. People will start, like, you will play worse. I don't care who you are, I don't care how good you are at FIFA or etc. I don't care if you go 30, you know, even me, I've gone 30, you know, many, many, multiple times. If I would start getting angry and letting the game affect me i'm not playing well end of story done finito okay so when these things happen in the game and a lot of these things will happen if we just go in the champ channel as well while we're just talking we'll go and watch someone that finished 30 you know we'll go and watch marcuse okay my man finished 30 you know did he play anyone good let's have a look quick well he played this guy that finished elite one so watch his game while while this is while i'm talking to you i thought you know i would just put the game on in the background so 
when these things are going against you, try just to laugh them off. Try not to overthink it. Try not to think, oh my god, look what's going on, blah, blah, blah. I promise you, the game is not worth getting angry over. I don't care who you are, what time of day it is. This game is not worth getting angry over. And the moment you start getting angry over the game, you're done. Finito, okay. So, a simple tip to try and not get angry at the game. I've found that this works for me anyway. I don't know whether it would work for everyone, but it definitely works for me. It's just laugh. Okay, so when you tackle this, when you tackle your opponent and he wins the ball for the twentieth time in a row, just laugh. Okay, instead of getting angry, shouting, you know, you might throw your controller somewhere. Honestly, I promise you, just sit there and laugh. All right, sit there and laugh and think to yourself, why am I getting angry? Why am I getting aggy over this game? Because I promise you, it's just not worth it. It's not worth the time. It's not worth the stress. It's not worth the effort of getting angry over that. I do promise you. Okay. So tip number three, and I think this is. Probably the that's a great ball by the way. Probably the biggest tip that you can get, in my opinion anyway. That would be wait there, my music's just stopped. Is it stopped? All right, no, there you go. Is when you're in the game, only think about that game. Okay, this is honestly this is such a key tip that is so 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 slept on. When you're in this game, like for example, these two players are playing in this game. You can't change what's been and gone two games ago. And I know a lot of people really struggle with this. They, When they're playing the weekend league, they're still thinking about that loss that they took five games ago. You, you can't get that win back. You can't get that loss back. Okay, the, That loss has happened. It's done. Just accept it, I promise you. Okay, Because the moment you go into these games and you start thinking about stuff that happened a few games before, it's a recipe for disaster, my friend. I promise you. So just think, I'm playing my opponent. My opponent doesn't know what happened in the last game he doesn't know how angry i am he doesn't know that i'm in a bad mood and that i'm hating on the game he doesn't know all these things okay so what you need to then do just play your opponent on your screen right now play you the opponent that you're playing in front of you guys okay honestly the amount of people that i see that are still getting aggy and still getting angry that's a nice little finish ronaldo boom the amount of people i see that are still getting aggy and still getting angry over things that they just don't need to get aggy and angry over honestly it blows my mind it's not worth the stress Honestly, I promise you, it's just not worth it. Focus on the one game that you're in. It's as simple as that. So that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the end of the video. There are some key tips that I think will really help improve your mental ability, okay? I know a lot of you guys will probably disagree or agree or... I think I prefer the blue, you know. Let me know. Do you guys prefer... Do you guys... Let me know in the comment section. Do you guys prefer blue, red or pink? Let, let me know because I'm honestly... I change, I change the colours every day. But that is going to be the end of the video, guys. Remember, focus on the one game you're in. Don't look at your record, okay? Don't fight. Well, not don't look at your record, but don't focus and don't get gung ho caught up on your record. Okay, oh, okay. thank you, Andy. Don't look, don't focus on your record and get caught up in it, please. But yeah, that's going to be the end of the video, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.